right, YouTubers. Uh, we're going to be installing the 10-inch uh, DeSeda touchscreen entertainment system. Um, we're going to start out by removing this kick panel down here. It's only held in with some clips, so we're just going to pull on it. Alright, here's the first piece. It's pretty easy to remove. Now this next bezel that goes around here, there's only one Phillips screw that's holding it in. And that screw is located right here. Alright, same scenario. It should just be clipped in, so we're just going to start pulling on it. This corner down here is a little tight, so I have a little pry tool. You could also just use like a flathead screwdriver. All right, now you want to lower your steering column. Just make it a little bit easier. Now you just want to maneuver this around and there is going to be a plug here on the back the plug goes to your select reset mile per hour kilometer these little buttons here so you just push this little tab in and it's going to unplug just like that then we're going to set this aside for now as well all right next you want to come down here to this pocket there's like a little plastic insert here you just want to take a small flathead screwdriver or that plastic pry tool and you're just going to pry this down. This little cover will come out like so. Set that aside. Alright, once I pulled this plastic cover off, there ends up being either, they're either two Phillips or they're also an 8mm. Here's what the little screw looks like, if you can see that. I found it easier to use a ratchet with an extension and an 8mm socket and I was able just to pull, there's one here and there's going to be one on this side. Those two screws are what's holding this whole bezel from coming in and out. So you want to remove those two screws, set that aside. At this point, this whole radio bezel and climate control should just be held in with snaps. You should be able to pull on it. might need a pry tool just in case or you can use a flathead screwdriver there we go and then at this point you want to start unplugging some of these harnesses there's just little push tabs right there you just push them in As you unplug it, same thing on the climate control, the hazard button. What else do we have left here and then last but not least this tab here for the antenna is slightly different than these where you pushed on the top this one has a little tab here on the side so you'll use your thumb and press that in and now we're going to take this radio and climate control over here to our workbench all right now this is the uh the original radio and climate control. We're going to be transferring all of this over to the new unit. In doing so, 
we first need to get these little plastic rings off the climate control. So you just want to pry around as you pull on it. And that'll come off like so. Same thing over here with the temperature. Get both of those off. Now you want to spin the climate control around. And as you can see, there's just a bunch of screws. Um, so first we're going to be moving the air vent, transfer the air vent over to the new bezel. Um, this will be the, your passenger side airbag light. There isn't actually a spot over there. So we're just going to plug that back in on the car and let it hang there. We'll transfer the hazard switch over and we'll transfer the climate control over. So if you give me just a second, I'll unscrew all this. All right, in this point, we're gonna be transferring all these pieces back over to the new radio and bezel. All right, at this point, you just wanna turn around, make sure everything looks like it's normal. Got the air vent back in, our hazard button. Put our uh, control knobs back on here. I just push and snap in place. And at this point, we need to come back to the old bezel and we're gonna take off all these little clips. This is what holds it in the dash. We'll just use a screwdriver and pry all those off. All right, once we have all these little clips transferred over, have this back together. We're ready to put this now into the actual vehicle. Let's go back to the car. All right, now at this point, I went ahead and pulled the screw out of my gauge cluster there, the screw here and the screw here. Also up here on this top piece of the dash, there's a screw here, screw here, and there was a screw here. I went ahead and pulled out all three of those pieces in this gauge cluster. Reason why is I'm gonna pull this piece out. We're gonna hide the, um, the GPS satellite antenna up here on the dash. We're gonna run the wires underneath here. And behind this gauge cluster, you'll find there's a nice hole here that you can run the wires through go underneath the air vent here and over to the radio. So give me a minute and I'll install these. All right, just a quick little update. What I did was, here is the GPS wire, ran it through here underneath this vent, came up through this hole here, ran it behind the gauge cluster here, and I had this piece off, I just ran it up here, and you can see it's just up here on top of the dash. When this is all finished, we'll take that double side sticky tape off and we'll stick that to the dash. Same scenario, here is the microphone, ran the wire through underneath the vent here, came up underneath this hole right there. You can see the wires right here, here comes the microphone. When we're finished, the black bezel that goes around the gauge cluster, we'll take the double side sticky tape off and we'll stick it to that black bezel there. Um, I'm also opting to do the backup camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the wiring today but I'm not gonna actually do the complete installation of the backup camera today. We'll do that at a later time. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get it ready and prepared so I don't have to tear the dash back apart on a later date. So there's the backup camera RCA 
and it's what's going to be the signal wire that kicks the the camera on to override your system same thing just ran it through there ran it up through the one hole on this side of the cluster back down the hole over here there's another hole on this side of the cluster brought it over here and for now i've just uh put the excess wire i'm just going to leave it right here and like i said at another date we'll finish the backup camera installation that installation is going to have to go down through the kick panels into the trunk so i just wanted to get that prepared at a later date another quick little update is i took this black plastic piece down here i drilled a hole in the center of it because it's going to be you know hidden up inside this compartment you're not going to ever see that hole and that way i can run through the usb cables here and then i'll come right here behind the radio i just brought them up here and then these are going to plug in the back of the radio here in just a minute just going to give you a little update there something quick simple little tip okay a quick overview here here is the main wiring harness being plugged into the radio these ends are going to plug into the factory honda plugs which are right back here on the dash still these two plugs right here will plug into these two now i am doing the backup camera so we're going to use this is our signal wire that's going to be coming from the camera in the back of the car so you're going to take this red wire to this main power harness this one is labeled back you just want to splice those together with a connector this wire is the wire that runs from our satellite antenna up here on the dash it comes here it, it actually screws in right here on the top left this is our going to be our little wi-fi antenna that's what's going to allow us to connect our phone wirelessly um, like bluetooth um, on this main harness is this plug here this is going to be the antenna so it's going to jump over here plug in the antenna spot this plug here is the one that has the mic wire which is going to go to the microphone over here for our hands-free calling also it runs the two usb cables the two usb the black ones down here these two black usbs above it is this little purple plug right there that purple plug runs up here it comes down to the white usb that is used for if you want to plug in for your apple carplay or your android auto then this other wiring harness here um, has these rcas on the back of it this is for auxiliary video going in like i mentioned before you can put a game console or whatever you might be using um, but i just need this one for me it's going to be called cam vin if you guys can see that or not that's going to be our backup camera wire going in now from this point i'll just um flip all this around plug these two main harnesses into the honda wiring harness don't forget we still have to plug in our hazard switch and our climate control also and then we'll push push everything back into place All right, now it's all, you can see the bezels all nice and neat, flush, all snapped in place. At this point, I just wanna make sure that we have power. Oh, lucky there. All right, I just wanna make sure we have this before I put all the rest of this we're going to go ahead and put the bezel around the gauge cluster, then we'll put the kick panel back in place. And you saw how easy that was. That just snaps in. There was one screw over here. So give me just a second to put that back together. 
All right, we got everything back together. All the dash pieces are back, snapped into place. Looks pretty nice. Let's see here. There's a home button. Looks like a navigation, some music, a radio. Let's see, let's do the, oh. Well, you can hear that it works, but I can't play any music because it's copyright protected. But it uh, looks pretty simple. Yeah, it looks like it automatically picks up, automatically picks up stations. Okay, so now we need to activate our steering wheel controls. It's very simple. There's two different places you, you can do this. They both work exactly the same. First, you want to hit your home button. Then you want to come to the settings. And you want to scroll this down to where it says car. Then we're going to hit steering wheel keys. I'm going to hit reset because I've already set mine up to, sh to practice. From this point, we're going to come over here. We're going to hit channel up. Come back here and it gives us a list. You want to come down here. We're going to scroll down. And we're going to go with channel or track forward. And you hit OK. Come back to here. We hit the channel down button and you pick what you want that button to do. You come over here and we're going to hit like track back or channel backwards. Hit OK. Next we're going to do volume up. That looks like volume up right there. OK. Volume down. Here is volume down. Okay, and then for mode, you can make any of these buttons do whatever you want. Um, I do like the mode button, but you could also make it your home button. So whatever you prefer, I'm going to go with mode, hit OK. Now that you have your track forward, track backwards, volume up, volume down, sorry about that, in your mode, then you're just going to have to hit save. Yes, you want to save them now. Now we'll go over here. Hopefully you guys can see this. When I hit the mode button, you see that it just changed. Now we've got music video playing. From here I can hit volume up. I can go to the next. There we go. Next video. Hopefully you guys can see this. Go to the next one. I can volume up. All the controls are from here on the steering wheel now. It's that easy. I'll also show you from your home screen, you should have an app that allows you to do your steering wheel controls as well. Mine's called Wheel Key Study. Same scenario, you can see that brings you right back to the same screen. So you can either go to the, the wheel screen, wheel, sorry, Wheel Key Study, or you can go into your settings. But it's that easy, guys. Just want to make a quick video here after uh, the first day of using it. Um, I love it when you turn the car on, it automatically connects to Android Auto. Um, which is awesome because it automatically has ways here for navigation. It also pulls up my um, Pandora um, for music. And it just connects to my phone. So it's very, very simple. Other options, you can go to the main menu here. You can go to YouTube. Um, you can go to the Play Store, download any apps you'd like. Uh, so far, real simple, you can go to video. And you can play you know, music videos if you'd like. Um, the picture quality, if you can see, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Show you one of their uh,
So I'm thinking like, <laughs> I've had this car for a year. I should have bought this like you know, the very first month I owned the car. I am so missing out. I mean, it just looks so great in the car. Like it's supposed to be here. But anyway, I hope you guys like really enjoyed this video. I enjoy putting this together for you guys. And just want to say thanks to Deseda for uh, sending me the product.